Hey there once again, Holiday with you on the snake. Got a brand new laptop for you to check out. Yeah, this is a Lenovo Yoga, uh, but not just any Lenovo Yoga. This bad boy is packing one of the new NVIDIA GTX 1050 video cards in a convertible, believe it or not. And there's a lot to say about this thing, so we'll get right at it. Now, one thing I normally could care less about, but in this case, I'm going to show you this. This is actually the, uh, the box that this new Yoga comes in. Check out that like copper foil uh, lettering and everything. Uh, very nice job on the packaging there, Lenovo. Good job on uh, all fronts. Again, I don't normally care about uh, boxes, but uh, the presentation, first impressions when you first open this thing's pretty sweet. All right, let's give you a rundown of what kind of hardware is in this thing. Like I said, new Lenovo 720. Um, this thing is packing. <laughs> Uh, some really great hardware uh, for a two-in-one convertible. Again, 15.6 inch screen, as you can see, nearly bezel-less, which is really nice. Uh, more on the screen in a second. Uh, this thing is also packing an NVMe Samsung SSD. Uh, this one's configured with a 512 gigabyte version. Uh, very powerful video card configuration. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 and the, uh, the onboard Intel HD Graphics 630 for when you're not doing anything uh, super important as far as uh, gaming or 3D stuff. Uh, this is not some gimped mobile processor. Uh, the new Lenovo 720 has the quad-core Cabby Lake i7 7700HQ running at 2.8 gigahertz. Very nice. Okay, now on to the screen. This is really one of the stars of the show for this new Lenovo. This is a 4K screen running at 3840 by 2160. It is a 60 hertz screen. And there is the, uh, the monitor ID. I'm going to check that out. Uh, the screen quality, uh, clarity, colors, everything. Uh, really amazing. Cannot give a bigger thumbs up to this 4K screen. Lenovo, if you've dealt with yogas in the past, you know, they, they used to have issues with, uh, with yellows. If you ever looked at a picture of SpongeBob SquarePants on an old Yoga, you know it's going to look kind of mustardy. Uh, completely, Lenovo got this one right. Uh, the screen is stellar, even better than the HP Spectre, which we covered here a month or two ago. Just best in class, 15.6 inch screen I think I've ever seen. All right, one of the real stars of the show for this new Lenovo is the fact that they have managed to pack in one of the brand new NVIDIA Pascal cards, the 1050, into a two-in-1 convertible. Um, I will do a separate video maybe later with some specific gaming benchmarks and kind of let you see exactly what this can do. Uh, a little bit something to keep in mind is the fact that this is a 4K screen. If you're a AAA gamer, uh, you're probably not going to be playing stuff at 4K. I mean, yeah, you can play Long Dark and and some of the some of the lower lower end titles and everything at native, but generally speaking, you're going to be looking at 1920. But again, this laptop uh, can really bring it, and, and actually no throttling or anything either. Uh, if you want to do some uh, some big time gaming, so you get the portability, uh, and it's all good. Uh, very good performer. One very pleasant surprise for me with this new Lenovo is the keyboard. Uh, honestly, I was not very optimistic, especially considering uh, some of the Lenovo 910 Yoga models had the uh, the really weird placement for uh, the shift key. They actually had it kind of mixed in where they had the arrow keys sticking up in the middle and the shift key was pushed over the right. This is uh, generally a full-size keyboard minus the number pad, uh, but really great travel. Um, can't tell you how good this thing feels. I, my other machine is a, the MSI GS63 VR. Love the Steel Series keyboard. This thing is comparable. Uh, like I said, very, very, very uh, good uh, tactile fee feedback. Um, find that I can type really fast on this thing. And it's a surprising plus when I was just hoping for okay. And I'm not sure exactly how much you can tell in the video, but it is it is backlit. Nothing fancy. You're not going to customize colors or anything. Uh, you can actually customize how bright the uh, the keyboard is. Uh, but it's just a generic white backlight. But still going to get the job done if you have to do anything in a uh, not very well lit room. Let's go over the uh, I/O for you real quick. There's not a lot to say except that to me this is good enough especially if you've uh, dealt with the new macbooks with only the usb-c uh... there is your uh... your charge port which is like a usb-ish uh, connection typical lenovo yoga stuff 
uh, regular USB 3. Uh, there's your headphone jack. Um, if you turn around the other side, you're going to find there is uh, your power button. There is a Thunderbolt port, which is sweet, and my typical wireless mouse adapter and the other USB. And then you look at the back, there's where your, uh, your ventilation is going to come, come from. And like I said, this, I found this laptop does a really good job of managing its heat. It is packing a quad-core i7 of the 7700. It's also got the GTX 1050 in it. So, you know, if you're doing anything under load, this thing is going to need to get rid of the air. And uh, it actually does a, a really good job. As you can see, the, uh, you, when you actually extend the, uh, the laptop, uh, it doesn't block the vents or anything like that and does a really good job with his thermals. As far as the chassis itself, this is a Best Buy model. Um, they refer to it as a, a platinum silver, and it doesn't really fingerprint at all. Uh, it's an aluminum body, um, have not actually done any disassembly on the, on the bottom, but extremely well built. Um, and again, again, high marks to Lenovo for creating a laptop that should actually keep its good looks. If you like the design, it's going to keep its good looks over time, I think. What to say about this yoga? Uh, there really is nothing to complain about. Uh, there is no SD card slot, so I guess if that matters to you, that's, uh, that's in the minus column. Uh, but I mean, look at this. You get a two-in-one convertible. It's got an i7-7700 quad-core CPU. You get 16 gigs of RAM. You get a 512 gig Samsung NVMe SSD. You get that mighty NVIDIA GeForce 1050 uh, video card. Um, it's just a great performer, especially when you consider this is you know this is a two-in-one convertible. I think some Wacom pens will even work on the screen. I haven't tested that out yet, but. Um, this, to me, at the moment, looks like a slam dunk. Um, I think there's a 74 kilowatt hour battery uh, that's in this uh, in this yoga. That looks like, again, I've only had this a day or two, but looks like somewhere between four and five hours of battery life running at 100% brightness. And for a 4K screen with a, a 1050 in it and a quad-core CPU, that really isn't bad. But you're not going to buy this for battery life. This is something, if you want... Uh, the convenience of, of a laptop that's it's around four and a half pounds, um, uh, fairly thin. Uh, it's not exactly light, but it's also not heavy. It's not cumbersome. Uh, you know, and you can find this for around thirteen ninety nine at Best Buy, unless you can catch a sale or something. This is a brand new Yoga. High high marks to Lenovo on this one. Uh, no complaints so far. Um, and again, if, uh, if you're interested in some gaming benchmarks, uh, let us know in the comments, and I'll be glad to do a separate video later. But uh, highly recommended if uh, if this is your cup of tea, the Lenovo Yoga 720. And again, make sure you check the that you're getting the right model. There's a lot of these yogas out there. Make sure you're getting the one with the 1050 in it. And I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Uh, for a convertible, you're not going to be disappointed with the performance. It's all good.